Uh, I think I'm gonna share my thoughts on moto vlogging as well. But in the end, it's all fun. So just go ahead and do it anyways, man. The first spot I'm gonna take you guys to is World Trade Center. Look how gigantic that thing is. May or may not like the bike. It looks like I'm actually cruising through Times Square. Rev it, there you go. <laughs> and it's been solid. Traction. This thing was fighting for traction just a while ago. What's up, Ari? Let's do a run. <laughs> this is indeed the last video uh, that I will be posting for some months. Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, thanks for tuning into the video. As you see in the title, I'm going to be heading into Manhattan and taking a little cruise there. Uh oh. Taking a little cruise there and uh, just checking around. Um, maybe something cool will happen. Maybe I'll try to give you guys like a mini tour. I'm just going to head into the city and hope for the best. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to Times Square. Uh, a couple of you may know I went to Times Square and uh, it was kind of a bad situation but it turned out good i didn't get any tickets or anything but i did get stopped at some random motorcycle checkpoint thingy uh which i'm not a fan of um i'm also going to be talking about uh the reliability maintenance and my experience with the bmw s1000 rr thus far uh this bike now has close to 7,000 miles on it it's at about 67 something so i picked it up with 1500 original miles by the way for those of you that don't know so I figured I'd just give you guys a little review on that maintenance, um, how reliable it's been and everything else like that. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. I'm over here playing with this freaking yo-yo. Uh, I think I'm going to share my thoughts on moto vlogging as well. Um, my thoughts and uh, experience um, this summer moto vlogging and uh, if I think you guys should do it, if you guys are considering it. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much going to be the video, and with uh, no further ado, let's jump on the LIE here and uh, head into Manhattan and get a little uh, final season finale uh, video for you guys. Um, one more trick with the yo-yo, why not? Let's see if I... Uh, uh, man, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since I played with this thing. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the road. All right, so the first thing I'll be discussing with you guys is my moto vlogging experience uh, thus far up until this point. Um, so far, it's been pretty amazing. I mean, I gained almost close to 8,000 subscribers in four to five months. Um, that's pretty awesome. A lot of people have been uploading for years and they're just around maybe even two to 3,000 subscribers. So, I, by the way, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support as well. But yeah, that's been freaking amazing. I never would have thought that I would have gained so many subscribers in such a short period of time i honestly didn't think i would gain any subscribers um you know much less almost eight thousand. so that's amazing now if you're considering moto vlogging i think that you should do it not really for the fame not really for the likes not for the views but i think you should do it just so you are documenting your rides catch moments that you never thought you would catch And have a little fun out here in the streets, man. Oh, looks like we have traffic. I'll try to get back to you guys once we are out of this. All right, so we talked about I think you should motor vlog because it's just straight up fun. You get to capture the experience of all of your rides or whatever rides you choose to film. And uh, ultimately you can end up gaining some sort of following, which is also pretty cool, you know what I mean? It's not about that at all, at least not for me. Um, who cares how many followers you have or how many likes you get or how many views your channel does? That's irrelevant. Uh, now, if you're doing it as a job, then maybe it means a little bit more to you, but if you're doing it just for fun as a hobby, to meet new people, to talk with new people, then, you know, it doesn't really matter. I was having fun with my videos, we're having, you know, sorry, we're getting 20 views, you know, 20 views in a month. I would upload and in a week it would have 7 views. I'm gonna have to get back to you guys yet again, there is so much traffic. Sorry about that guys, the uh, the traffic really like messes up your, your train of thought and your focus. Especially with someone like me, I don't actually jot anything down to remember to say as I'm out here making these videos, I literally freestyle it. But um, anyways, continuing on. Listen, motor vlogging is really, really cool. Uh, you should do it just for the fun. And as, as you're doing it for a hobby, it may turn into something big, it may not. But the point of it is to just have fun, film your adventures, film your friends, film the new friends that you make, etc., etc. Just have fun with it, man. I definitely think everyone should get a GoPro and, uh, and get to it. 
Um, by the way, if any of you are curious as to how uh, I make the magic happen, so to speak, I literally just have a SD card reader. So I take the SD card out of the GoPro and I put it into the reader and I have an adapter that plugs into my iPhone and that's how I get all the footage right from the GoPro straight to my phone and I edit on iMovie. The only thing that I have for equipment is a GoPro Hero 9, the Media Mod, the Purple Panda Mic, and the chin mount from chinmount.com which is specific to whatever helmet you have. So that's how I'm making all this happen, man. No special anything, no laptops, no special uh, editing software, nothing like that. I'm just out here with the GoPro and my iPhone. That's literally it. Whoever's thinking about starting a moto vlog, moto vlogging is not dead. Uh, I was one of the people that thought it was dead, but it is not. You could still get out here, have fun, record your rides, post it on the internet, and people may or may not enjoy it. You might build a following, you might not. But in the end, it's all fun. So just go ahead and do it anyways, man. By now, you guys should know how much I love my views. And uh, we are coming up on some excellent views right about now. Uh, if you've watched the video of me going into Times Square, then you've seen this view already. Or the Rouse and Chill video where I went into Long Island City, you've definitely seen this view. But for those of you that may be new or you missed those videos or didn't watch it, whatever it is, here's the view, man. This thing, this New York City skyline is something else. It's beautiful. I think everyone could agree if it wasn't for the traffic here in New York City, which has noticeably got, gotten worse over the years, this would be the perfect place to live. Besides the, I don't want to get too political, but if you know, you know. Um, besides that, <laughs> but uh, anyways, man, I'm going to make my way into the city. I'll see you guys when I'm in Manhattan. We're close. We'll pull into the city. <laughs> Woo! Man, that felt good, man. <laughs> that wakes you up. I'm trying to show you guys a little bit of the view we got going on. It's crazy how you can live in New York City and uh, not visit Manhattan often, man. I really do not come here at all. <laughs> I came here the most when I was a teenager. Nowadays, rarely. All right, guys, so we are officially in the city. Lots going on as, uh, as per usual here in the city. And uh, the first spot I'm gonna take you guys to is World Trade Center. Um, the most, yeah, I would say the most iconic spot um, here in Manhattan. And uh, we'll swing around for a little bit and I gotta find a place to post up and actually do a little review on uh, Crystal here. And uh, I'll see if I can find a little spot. I'm not sure how that's gonna turn out, but we'll see. gonna be lots of splitting here <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna be recording all of it but I'm definitely not sitting in city traffic uh, it's just the mood I'm in I'm not really in the mood to sit sit in city traffic so so here we are jumping on the FDR such nice scenery on the FDR man some people drive like complete maniacs on this thing though and uh, right across there is Long Island City. I don't know if you guys can see that big Pepsi Coca-Cola sign. That's like iconic over there in Long Island City. I just realized this dude has a bed. <laughs> he has a bed in his pickup truck. I mean, why not? 
imagine that shit just came flying out at me? Sketchy. Still on the FDR bridge. Check out the Manhattan Bridge. Right across is Dumbo. Dumbo, Brooklyn. Gotta love the sights. Wow. We gotta uh, we gotta sit back and enjoy this one. Got a Puerto Rican flag in the window. <laughs> Hell yeah. What a view, guys. What a view. Woohoo! Haha, <laughs> this bike is so fast. This bike is so fast. Think poles, man. But boy does she stop, boy does she know how to stop. Like I said in one of my previous videos, if you want to go fast, the main thing is you have to be able to stop. Someone told me that a long, long time ago, a wise man that uh, that dude used to ride, he used to, he didn't ride, but he used to drive crazy. And he told me, man, not, nothing is better than having stopping power. Cause uh, you know, find yourself in a sticky situation, you want to be able to stop and you won't be able to stop quickly. Anyways, that said, uh, onwards to World Trade Center. Uh, can we get a tunnel pull? Effort straightens up. Try to get you guys a little tunnel pull if this thing straightens up. Sounds crazy, man. It just never gets old. And look at that a pull out of the tunnel right to World Trade Center. Man, that building looks amazing in person. It's unfortunate that situation that happened, the whole 9 11 thing. Uh, you know, rest in peace to everyone, of course. First responders, people in the building, people on the planes. But, uh, man, there she is. Let's uh, take, a little, take a little ride down there. Man, the closer you get, the bigger it gets. It doesn't look like much from far away, but once you get close up on it, it's just insane looking. how gigantic that thing is. Insane.
insane to be here in person. Breathtaking, guys. So yeah, for those of you that were curious about that, that's the World Trade Center. Uh, that's a memorial for um, everyone that unfortunately lost their lives that day. And uh, crazy to see it in person, man. Very, very uh, emotional, kind of, but also like very beautiful. It's uh, it's interesting. Um, but we're gonna keep uh, put putting along here, and uh, I'll take you guys around some other places. Beautiful F10 M5. Those things sound gnarly. Alrighty guys, so we are currently on the way to Times Square-ish area. Uh, I'm not really trying to pass through there because um, you guys know what happened last time. But uh, you know, there's probably definitely gonna be cops here. It's Times Square, I mean, of course. Uh, I might swing by uh, Central Park-ish area first. Uh, show you guys over there, show you guys what that looks like. And then uh, still got to find a spot to do a review on the bike. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out from there. Cruising the city, dude. All these people have their hands up waiting for cabs. I have my TLC license, which is my cab license, and they tell you all about that, like certain cabs and certain stuff, you're allowed to pick up people on the side of the street, certain times you're not. It's, uh, it's really interesting. May or may not like the bike. <laughs> this is what it's like for everyone that ever, you know, wonders what it's like riding around in New York City, Manhattan to be specific. It's, uh, it's pretty much always a shit show. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you just gotta deal with it, man. Um, it is pretty though, it's pretty to look at. But there are lots of uh, weird parking situations and just everything else like that. You gotta kinda get in where you can fit in, you know? You gotta be aggressive. I'm guessing there's a police precinct around, all these police cars. I would assume so. Still's got his kids on the bike, one of them is sleeping. It's crazy. I guess all these bicycle people have to stop too for the lights. Yeah, that's definitely a Manhattan thing. Here in, in Queens, we'd be out of here. I mean, it makes sense if you're, you know, you got your kids on the back. That's a little extreme. I don't know if I'd be riding around with my kids on the back of a bicycle in, in uh, Manhattan, but to each their own, as they say. We are currently on West 34th Street, very popular street. Uh, huge Macy's, huge things always going on here. As you can see, there are crowds of people all over the place. Um, I mean, I don't even know what they have going on over there, but the Salvation Army. Oh, okay, so it's the Salvation Army. I'm not sure what they're doing, but something's always going on over here. Uh, I remember this street a lot. I used to come over here when I was a kid. I would get suspended from school a lot, so I would come to the city and uh, I would go ice skating at 42nd and Bryant Park. And uh, I remember just walking all the way down here and going into Macy's and stuff. And uh, yeah. Must be nice. That is a sweet 911. Red interior. Must be nice. Let's see if we get a little cold start. But this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Shout out to her 
and uh, her friend. <laughs> That's sick. Oh man, this was the strip right here. I used to go off the train and walk up to 42nd uh, in Bryant Park. Good times. think of the city I just think of that song all of the lights dude's got a cowboy hat and she's got purple hair you gotta love it <laughs> oh Manhattan you never cease to amaze me it's awesome I love it these guys are getting a tour of uh, Manhattan Columbus Circle right now if you don't know what Columbus Circle is it's pretty much a roundabout <laughs> a huge roundabout um, and right over here is Central Park so to the left of me is Central Park I believe that's Trump Tower over there too unless they changed it I thought Trump Tower was right there but it looks like a different name I don't know That's Central Park over there to the left of me. Really, really big park. Many memories of that park. Um, very, very cool. I believe Times Square is on maybe up there one more Ave, I believe. Um, I'm not really sure. But uh, I really don't want to cruise through there, man. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should give it a go. Yeah, let's give it a go. Why not? Let's give old Times Square a little cruise through. And uh, we'll see what happens. I definitely did not plan to cruise through here. But no checkpoint, no cops. Tons and tons of people. This is the city for you. All the colorful billboards. Looks like I chose a little decent day to uh to swing through. I would try to get a picture at the red steps but I don't want uh, you know the traffic cops or any cops to mess with me really the Statue of Liberty and <laughs> Megatron or whatever the heck that is I don't know what the heck that is it's tall though interesting All these people taking pictures and videos and uh, in typical tourist fashion. People find out very quickly that uh, New York City is pretty much a shit show. <laughs> it's dirty, it's loud, it's packed, it's cramped. It's not exactly how the movies portray it. But uh, in any case, it is cool to hang around and visit and, you know, come in with friends and family or whatever. My 
My man likes the bike. Very cool. Thank you, man. <laughs> come, 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 rev it. Come rev it. Go ahead. Rev it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm going to do one more pass through the Times Square area and then uh, we might go check out this waterfront spot that's just down the block. Here it is. The main uh, point of Times Square. The big red steps to the left. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Let me move up a little bit. Big red steps. No one's actually on it taking pictures. That's uh, that's a first. But yeah, lots of people out. Lots of activity. It uh, it looks like it's back to normal, except everyone is masked up. But other than that, it looks pretty uh, pretty back to normal. Really cool to see. But uh, yeah, this is Times Square for you guys. City pulls sound crazy because it's just echoing off the buildings. It's insane. Man, shout out to everyone that lives in Manhattan with motorcycles and you ride around in this thing every single day. This is insane, man. It's it's so much traffic and so much going on and so much to deal with on top of being hyper-focused because you're on a motorcycle riding. Seriously, shout out to all you guys. Look at this. Insanity. For all of you that want uh, bigger, bigger CC bikes, you gotta learn how to handle them in traffic like that. Not saying I'm the best or the most skilled, but you gotta learn how to make them bob and weave, you know? So uh, to the left of me is Bryant Park, the park I was telling you guys about. I used to come here a lot. Uh, when I was getting suspended from high school and uh, ice skate, man. I just used to spend all day here ice skating. I would rent ice skates and, and use them all day. It was awesome. Very cool memories here. But uh, I'm going to make my way down to this waterfront spot and uh, hang out for a little bit and then make moves back to Queens. Uh, I still got to find a location to actually do the little review on this bike. In Queens, you can pull up on sidewalks and do whatever you want. In Manhattan, that, that's not flying, but we'll see. Of course, me being me, I found me a water spot in Manhattan, and we're actually right by the, I don't know if you can see that there. There are planes and stuff up there. It's like a Navy ship. It's sick. But anyways, let's get a little review of this thing. All right, guys. So for those of you that don't know, this is a 2017 BMW S1000RR that I picked up from the original owner uh, with 1,500 miles on it. Um, right now, as it is, it has 6,700, and I'll get the exact mileage for you guys in just a second, but almost 7,000 miles. Um, with that said, man, it's been solid, but, I mean, that's to be expected, right? It only has 7,000 miles. It didn't even hit 10K yet. Uh, reliability in motorcycles, in my opinion, I would say about the 20,000, 30,000 mile mark is where you start to see if a bike is reliable or not. Um, now this bike, now, excuse me, this bike in particular, uh, the BMW S1000 double R, uh, since it is a BMW, it is, you know, it has that stigma about it that it's, uh, just big, expensive and unreliable, but that has not been the case at all. It's been solid all riding season for me. Um, that said, I, I did, uh, you know, dive into the forums like everyone else 
and uh, we're at 6,784. So by the time I make it home, we'll be at 6,800. So I'll be 200 miles away from 7,000. But uh, yeah, the BMW has a stigma about it that BMWs are just expensive and unreliable. Um, you know, with that said, maybe some of the cars have some, you know, really bad issues. We all know about uh, the E90 M3 and the rod bearings and all those issues that come with those uh, cars. But as far as the bike go, man, it's solid. Um, the first gen did have to get some tweaks out of it. That's kind of expected with anything first gen. Uh, but, you know, the second, third gen, I haven't really heard anything about it. Um, I've been in, in and out the forums and uh, some people just have really bad luck and their motors blow up at like 2000 miles. Other people, uh, you know, do extreme tuning, in my opinion. And uh, and then their bike blows up and they wonder why. I mean, if you're raising the rev limiter and doing all sort of extra stuff that the bike really wasn't intended for, then of course you're going to, you know, be more likely to uh, blow up your motor, kaboom your motor, uh, versus someone that just leaves it stock or puts an exhaust system on it and gets it dyno tuned or something. Um, that's just my opinion. But uh, yeah, maintenance wise, um, it's the same as any other bike, man. You buy the oil and you get your oil change done. It's not expensive. Uh, oil from the dealer is like i don't know 120 for the four quarts that you need uh the oil filter as well all that stuff comes up to about like 120 ish 130 um at the bmw here in the city actually manhattan that's where i picked up my stuff from and that's where i'm gonna have to go back and pick my stuff up again because this thing is well well due for an oil change i've been slacking to be honest uh but yeah definitely got to do that but uh, so far, maintenance, I uh, really haven't done any maintenance, so I can't comment on it besides the oil change. Um, do I think the bike is overrated? I absolutely do not. I think this bike is one of the most solid sport bikes that you could get today. Uh, you know, even with the newer bikes coming out, I still don't think they hold a candle to this thing. Uh, it is extremely fast. It's elegant. It's... Uh, it's solid it's firm feeling it's everything you want in a bike man everything you want in a super sport bike it's it it could be chill it could be tame or it could be a complete animal it looks good it's iconic with the uh headlight here one of my favorite parts the mismatch headlight and i don't know if you guys can see the rr there super sick little detail but yeah man this thing is everything you want in a super sport um lots of horsepower it's delivered crazy like i i, I can't there's not a thousand cc that i rode that compares to how this feels and if you've ridden an s1000 or you own an s1000 and you've ridden other thousand cc sport bikes you know exactly what i mean by that but um that's pretty much it man short review short term review nothing too crazy the bike is solid we'll see if i could get it uh close to i want to shoot for like fifteen thousand miles next summer somewhere around there i want to i want to actually put some real miles on this thing and uh see how it holds up and then uh, i could give you guys an in-depth long-term review yeah so me and crystal are gonna hang here for a little bit and then uh i'm gonna head home uh and that's it man just enjoy the rest of the day enjoy the rest of this cruise and uh, i'll see you guys once i'm on the road yeah so as i was telling you guys uh <laughs> about the getting the oil for this thing literally this is the bmw that i come to bmw of manhattan i didn't know it was right here all right guys it's time to head on home little city trip was fun swung around the city checked out some of the sites and uh it was pretty cool man it was pretty cool hopefully you guys enjoyed uh you guys got to see the world trade center slide through certain parts of the city a little bit of central park and uh yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys liked it. A little mini tour. It's rough riding a, swoop, a super sport around Manhattan. It really is. So uh, I couldn't really do like a full-blown tour and go to all these spots. But uh, that little mini tour is pretty solid. I think so, at least. Now it's uh, time to make my way in. But yeah, I will be posting uh, no longer after this video is up. So... This is it guys, this is the, the season finale. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and uh, I'll get back to you guys when I'm closer to home. Dude, every time I see a Supreme sticker on a Honda, I just think of Mac Miller's uh, Nike's on my feet freestyle music video. Um, Nike's on my feet, keep my safe foot complete. Nah, 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 nah. In that video he had a, a Honda Civic 
like an FA5 body style Honda Civic with the Supreme sticker in the back. I always think of that every time I see a Honda with the Supreme sticker. Shout out Mac Miller. Rest in peace, Mac Miller. Oh man, there is nothing like exiting the city after <laughs> after being there for a little while. Man, going to New York City is so rough. On a car, well, in a car, on a bike, it doesn't matter what you are, what you're on, what you're doing, what you're driving, what you're riding. But definitely cool to look at. Ah, uh, feels good to be back on our ends. Let's do a pull. Traction. What's up, Ari? Let's do a run. <laughs> Yo, did you guys see that traction light, though? There you go. And this is why you can't have fun with cool cars. The traffic, man. Would have been nice to have some open roads and do a little pull with that R8. He seemed like he was in a rowdy mood, too. I think it's sick, though. Man, yeah, this thing was fighting for traction just a while ago. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's no joke out here uh, riding with the cold grounds and the tires that just don't grip. Anyways, I'll see you guys once I'm out this traffic. Running into some nice cars. We got a Toyota Supra, the new one. We keep running into nice cars on the freaking highway with no room to play with them. Got some sort of, uh, oh, it's a 488, I think. I think it's a 488, I'm not sure. It might be a 458. No, the 458 is the old one, right? Whatever, freaking sick looking Ferrari, all white. That thing looks nasty. But we can't play. What the? This thing is badass. <laughs> Mad Max vibes, kind of, sort of. It looks a little too clean though, you know what I mean? Mm. I'm guessing it's some type of Hummer, man. This thing is sick. But uh, we're almost home base. I gotta get some gas. The last fuel up. So yeah, I'm gonna hit the gas station and then that's about it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into the video. Um, I had a good time, you know, strolling around the city and uh, giving you guys the view of it and stuff and showing you guys a couple of things. Um, this is indeed the last video uh, that I will be posting for some months and, uh, you know, it's time to pack it up for winter. So with that said, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thank you so much for your continued support and uh, I will see you guys summer 2022. Uh, this thing should be looking a little bit different. Some of you already know how it's going to look, what I'm going to do. And uh, until then, man, I'll see you guys next time. And, uh, you know, if you want to reach out to me, uh, there's the Instagram. You could DM me on there. Or uh, if you uh, want, you could just drop a comment in any one of my videos. I'm always paying attention to the comments. Other than that, I really don't have anything else to say, man. Take care. Be good. Happy holidays. And uh, if you're still out here riding, man, be safe. Other than that... See you guys when I see you guys. Peace out.